Uh, what's up everyone, um, Ace Hunter here, and today I'm bringing you another um, post-commentary uh, for my game uh, game from BLT. Uh, so this is week 5 of BLT and I'm playing against um, BDOV, um, also formerly known as Perfect Minin or something, I believe, um, from the Sandaloon Swamperts. So um, in preparation for this week, um, I built a pretty interesting team. Uh, I noticed it from his pre uh, from his um, other matches that he had um, uh, re relatively poor um, ground type switch-ins. So I decided to bring something uh, of the sort um, with um, both Life Orb Diglett and Mudbray. Currently, li really like uh, Life Orb Diglett, um, especially with Sludge Bomb because it's so hard to switch into. Um, because Griki gets um, Griki isn't a safe switch in anymore because of Sludge Bomb, and Natu can get uh, hit by Rock Slide. So I really like that set, and then I coupled that with a Scarf Mudbray um, to wear down the um, the um, Ground type resist um, um, if 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 applicable. And um, yeah, the rest of the team is pretty um, um, just a standard core with. Um, Morlo as the um, as a fighting check. Uh, I'm glad, glad to see that there's also um, the opponent also brought a Morlo. Um, <laughs> it's not often that you see a Morlo mirror, but uh, in any case, um, let's just jump right into it. Also, from preview, I just wanted to say that uh, Tyrant uh, doesn't look that threatening because when I have Scarf Mudbray, we can live, we can live. Um, one of Tyrant's hits, and also Morlo uh, should be able to wall it um, if it doesn't have Fire Fang, and even if it does, it still doesn't kill. So I'm not too worried by this. Uh, looking at the matchup here, so I'll just get uh, started. So now um, the Mianfu Mianfu lead. Oh, this is too fast. Okay, so the Mianfu Mianfu lead. Um, so my plan was um, so like uh, just like uh, with Morlo, just like with Larvesta. Um, since Mortal has an effect score uh, compared to Larvesta's Flame Body, um, usually people don't really want to f use Fake Out because Fake Out doesn't, uh, it's not as rewarding as another move. Um, and also, like, you just Fake Out into uh, either uh, uh, Flame Body or Effect Spore, and then you can just get status and be really far behind. So um, that's what I was going for um, on this lead. I see the Minfu Minfu lead, so. My reflex, would, my reflex would be to switch into Morlo, but um, considering my opponent has a um, has a Morlo as well, so what I think it, I'm thinking that he is going to switch into the Morlo as well um, to uh, to try to get the status on my Minfu. Also, a good thing to note is that Sl Sludge Bomb Diglett traps the Morlo uh, for me, whereas he doesn't have the Trapper for mine. So yeah. So I predict that he's going to go more low, and I'm just going to U-turn. Like worst case scenario, I can get faked out or I get knocked uh, if I lose a speed tie, which is not that big of a deal. Um, but uh, if he goes more low, like he did, I get a really big advantage, or so I thought, by going just directly trapping this. So um, usually, uh, more low uh, Diglett should kill more low from this from this range uh, because I'm life orb, also life orb sludge bomb. But it turns out that his Morlo is a very really uh, interesting spread um, with like max special defense, so which is a, which is able to live this hit. Unfortunately, uh, I don't get the poison, but at least good thing is he did not click Giga Drain. If he clicked Giga Drain, that would have been horrible because I would lose my Diglett. Uh, nothing's been put to sleep on my team, so I don't have Sleep Claws activated, and his Morlo gains a whole bunch of health back, so that would not be very good. Um, but. Thankfully, he clicked Spore, probably expecting to die from the Sludge Bomb. Uh, not expecting to live there. But yeah, unfortunately, it does live. Um, like, for example, the Mortal Spread I use does not live this Sludge Bomb um, from that range. So, yeah, um, this is a, a kind of rough start. Uh, I'm forced to let the, let the Mortal heal back here uh, with Synthesis. Oh, also, I was worrying. I was worried. <laughs> I was kind of worried that um, I went not to instead of Ponyard. Uh, usually, I would have gone Ponyard, but I was worried that since this is a weird spread, it might be also something like Strength Sap, um, and did not want the Mortal to get back straight to full since um, not to can bounce the Strength Sap and like prevent it from healing. But it's Synthesis, so it's not uh, it's not that bad at least. 
Uh, now he goes Natu into the Heat Wave. Um, now this Natu has a spe um, uh, it's kind of special. It has Shadow Ball. So the point of Shadow Ball is to uh, weaken the opposing Natu uh, in order for uh, Mud Bray or Diglett to have a better, uh, much easier time dealing with it. So thankfully I win the tie, I deal a whole bunch of damage to the Natu, and then he U-turns after, um, bringing in the Ponyard. So this is the downside of going Shadow Ball, now he gets a free switch to uh, whatever uh, Natu check he has. But at least I have a huge, a lot of damage on the Natu, and if I ever get rocks up, this Natu won't be able to switch into it even once. Which makes it really good for Scarf Mud Bray, because after that he doesn't have a, a ground resist. Uh, a ground immunity, sorry. Uh, so then um, I go Mianfu here um, since it was a high, there was a good chance he was going to knock there, which I did. Uh, now I predicted I was predicting him to go Morlo, but um, he didn't. He went for he stayed in, which is pretty good from a good read from his part. But he also clicked knock, which is um, pretty uh, odd. Uh, maybe he was predicting the U-turn there. Uh, wanted to catch something. Um, something uh, coming in after. Um, but then I knocked, which is good because I absorbed this knockoff from Ponyard. And it doesn't punish me as hard as Iron Head. I would have li lived Iron Head, but I probably would have been sucker range. So I would have to play around that as well. But thankfully that did not happen and I get to knock the Ponyard's Berry Juice for free. Almost. Um, now he goes to Morlo as I high jump kick. This is fine. It went into play safe. Um, now Morlo, since Natu is low, Morlo is the other uh, ground ground resist. Although uh, it doesn't it doesn't check Diglett because of Sludge Bomb, but Diglett is asleep, so it only has there's only Mudbray that can take advantage of this. And uh, the fact that it resists ground is uh, kind of problematic. So I wanted I figured that he might, he probably wants to keep this healthy, so I just go for Taunt here, um, risking the Moon Blast. But I I was pretty sure he was gonna try to heal up with. Uh, with Synthesis, which he did. Uh, and then now this Mortal can't heal anymore. Uh, it doesn't have Regenerator, unlike uh, Fungus or Marini, so that's really good. Uh, it's a, now it's at one sliver of health, and I get the Pawn in uh, for the Moonblast. Um, now I figured if I set up Rocks here, his Natu wouldn't be able to switch in, so he probably is gonna try to, well, he could try to, uh, try to prevent that um, by going Natu. Hard not to on rocks potentially to make it have a one last use before dying. Uh, and in a worst case scenario, I can just kill uh, knock off would still kill the Morlo or knock the Mianfu, which are both really good towards uh, Mudbury Wind Con. So here, not to dies, which is really good. Now there's no ground immunity. Now he goes Star You, and I just decided to take the Hydro Pump. I didn't want to risk going Morlo um, on the. Uh, in the fear that he might just uh, ice beam, analytic ice beam, that would do a lot of damage to it. But thankfully, I uh, thankfully I didn't, because it's just life orb, and then liquid and huge huge amounts of damage, even with the hydro pump probably. I'm not sure if hydro pump plus ice beam would kill, but it would probably be pretty close. And also, I need this Morlo for uh, other stuff. Like I need it for Tyrant, I need it for Mianfu, um, I need it for Staryu as well. But so yeah, just uh, be able to hard be able to bring in safely. Uh, at full health is useful against all of that. Um, now I go Mudbray because this is Life Orb. My Scarf Earthquake should kill, and since his Morlo, since his Natu is dead and his Morlo is at like two HP, uh, yeah, two HP, um, it's just gonna be really hard for him to find a switch in. So he just stacks the Morlo, which is fine. Um, and now my Mudbray is really looks look, looks poised to win. Now there's only probably. Um, Minfu, they can they can take a hit from Mudbray, uh, Mudbray's earthquake. So I just deal with this with more lull, and he, he goes for the high jump kick, and I get the poison, which is really good to get some chip on the Minfu, uh, just for the Mudbray. Um, however, um, having the chip, uh, the poison there meant that I didn't go for spore, since it's not as free as before. But it's all right. I, uh, I just get my Morlo to full in preparation for the future Tyrant to star you or whatever. Um, then I go Natu here, I get the rocks bounced. I figured Natu isn't very useful and uh, against the rest of, he, uh, rest of his team and like if I can get rocks up, uh, if I can prevent rocks then that's great. Um, so I just went Natu and like 
if he knocks my Nachu, it's not that big of a deal, right? Because then I go Mianfu, and he doesn't have a fi uh, fi uh, fi fighting type resist because Morlo and Nachu are dead. So, yep. I went for the Heat Wave, just sacking the Nachu. Unfortunately, well, fortunately, but also unfortunately, it gets burnt. And then um, it doesn't actually kill the Nachu with knockoff, and then just dies to the burn. So I actually wanted it to die with uh, Natu to die and Ponyo with one health. Then I can go Mianfu and just U-turn and get some health back and stuff. Um, but my Natu lived, and now that allows a Staryu, his opposing Staryu, to go for a rapid spin. But I, um, thankfully, I can just take advantage of this by just to deal a chunk of damage to Staryu, and more low should still survive uh, anyone hit from Staryu. So this is fine. And then Morlo just kind of beats all of this, so... Uh, oh, yeah, oh I forgot this! I, I got I got frozen, but thankfully I did not uh, get frozen, uh, I did not um, lose my turn since I got defrosted right away. If I had frozen that, it would have been really bad. So, um... So yeah, thankfully I did not get frozen there. And then I get I go for the sleep straight away because I want to be able to recover before uh, before killing it to keep I mean to keep my mortal healthy. If I if I just went for the kill, uh, maybe he can just break through the Morlo and then something maybe the Mianfu can uh, maybe it's gonna be hard for me to deal with Mianfu. So I just want the mortal to be as healthy as possible. And even if he wakes up, uh, turn one wakes up after burning sleep. And me uh, go in synthesis. I still live the uh, I still live, live the ice beam, so it's not the end of the world. Um, although of course that would be pretty bad uh, in general. Also good to, uh, because of Mianfu having taunt isn't does not have fake out, so I can't go Mianfu to deal with the Staryu. You. Um, yeah. So now he goes more low, which is giving me a free, very free synthesis. So uh, he goes knock. Uh, the Mianfu dies yeah, from the poison, and now Tyr Tyrant can't be put to sleep because Staryu's asleep. But thankfully, like Moonblast does a whole chunk of damage, and he can't set up more than one Dragon Dance. And as I mentioned earlier, um, Mudbray lives one hit from Tyrant from full uh, after Dragon Dance, so this allows me to to um, kill the Tyrant and just win the game. Uh, by breaking, uh, by killing the Staryu at the end. So, um, in retrospect, this was a pretty, pretty cool game, pretty clean game. Um, it was unfortunate that uh, my Sludge Bomb didn't kill the Morlo there, but I think Morlo was really the MVP of this of this game, being able to check all these three uh, three targets: Mianfu, Tyrant, and Staryu, uh, and Mudbray as well, to just like sweep through the team after uh, the, the checks were worn down. Uh, it's always good to see. <laughs> it's always really good to see uh, a mortal mirror in a in a tournament. Um, props to B Dove for bringing that. Um, I think it's really underrated. It should be used more, honestly, over poison types. But uh, yeah, that, that was um, that was um, round five, week five of BLT, and my first win of the tournament. Thank God. Uh, now I'm uh, one four in the tournament. Uh, I think I think my team is already out, which is unfortunate, but. Um, I'll still play the, my, my, my other two games left, hopefully to uh, fix my record a little. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. Uh, if you liked the, if you liked this uh, video, uh, please do consider um, liking and liking the video and subscribing to my channel. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.